Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with the word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time. And He's worthy to be praised. He is the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He loves us. He wants to pour that love into our heart. He wants to write that love on our minds. He wants to keep our hearts and minds in perfect peace. We are his children and he is our resting place he wants to lead us in a plain path he wants to lead us into paths of right living because christ has made us right with him sin was put on christ and we have received the son and we have become right with god <laughs> god put it on him god it says it i think it's first corinthians chapter 5 God put sin, the Father put sin on His Son, our sins, and Jesus took a punishment that we could not take. The Word had to take it. <laughs> you know, the Word had to take it because the, the Word of God cannot be defeated. The Word that God expressed the word that became flesh, the word, the same word that created the world, the same word that was there in the very beginning, this word became flesh, became mankind. It was he was sinless perfection. Just like in the Old Testament talks about the, the sheep and everything, they had to be spotless, they had to be pure. In order to be that sacrifice, there had to be nothing, no blemishes, nothing wrong with them. So, Jesus, that sacrifice for our sins, went all the way to death. See, there's a, there's a promise. This is why we need to get the word in our face. We need to read our Bibles and get the, the full story of what has really transpired here so that we can truly live in and grow up in our salvation we need to uh, we need to grow up into christ <laughs> and not be moved by the conditions of the world not can it not be moved by the conditions of personal situations and circumstances there's no weapon formed against you and your household that can prosper when you trust in what God has done for you. When you know what Christ has done for you and you believe what what God did, He He not only allowed His sin allowed His Son to take the punishment for our sins, but forgave us. Forgave us at this particular moment in time. There is such a grace for humanity. But that door is shutting. It is, I mean, it's like a sliver away from being closed. And 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 you don't want to be here. <laughs> you want to be caught up with Christ. I want us to come out of the burden of the situations and circumstances that are in our homes. Whatever the enemy has meant for our home, harm, I'm telling you, God will take that situation and make it good. You know how many souls will get saved if you get up and get back into alignment with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit? Get back into alignment of God's love. He loves you. We get bitter because of the situations and circumstances. We want to hate and we want to be frustrated and filled with all kinds of mess in our souls. When God sees you has written it in the word here to come to me come to the throne room of grace where you can get help there's mercy here there's help here in your time of need our lord has been exalted to the highest position in heaven he is seated next to the right hand of the father what jesus did he did for us so that we could come to the Father at any time. 
what did he say to Mary when she had he had risen from the dead and he she was gonna she was trying to touch him and everything okay I went to the scripture John chapter 20 verse 7 verse 16 Jesus said to her Mary she turned and said to him Hebrew in, in Hebrew it's Rabboni which means teacher do not cling to me Jesus said for I have not yet ascended to my fa to the father but go and tell my brothers I am ascending to the fa to my father and your father to my God and your God my father and your father he's a, he's ascending he already for us he's already ascended right he's already there making intercession for us drawing us you know praying for our he, he's working on our behalf right this second i just wanted us to really know that god is our father through through the Lord Jesus Christ we live through Christ the Word of God is I pray in your heart and in your mouth written on your mind so that you are not living after how you feel <laughs> or whatever pops into your mind that you're able to get away from evil and go do good even though your flesh is like pounding <laughs> your mind is the words are pounding in your mind but you are able to take that body and shift it because you've been living in the spirit you've been paying attention to the to the word the words Jesus has spoken our spirit in life that's what he told us the words I've spoken to you they are spirit and they are life. Come know me. <laughs> come down. Come sit down and know me. I can take the burden off your back. I can. I can make the weight be gone. I can take that craziness out of your mind and that fidgetiness, that anxiousness out of your soul. I can. I can do it. But we must come and hear the word. We must sit and drink up the knowledge of who God is and what we are to him learning to live in Christ and grow up in Christ means talking to him and walking with him and listening with him listen for his voice the Spirit of God has been sent into your heart this is this is what Jesus did when he ascended into the heavens he said he was going to send a comforter, and he did. You know, Jesus is the best counselor that you could ever have. God is the best counselor. And you have a counselor sitting right there in the midst of you, ready to help you. We just need to calm down. I trust him. I'm telling you, I trust him. I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I'm going to acknowledge him because he is my life make him your life don't don't be all forlorn or so upset you can't bring yourself into that place of okay whew, chill out wait a minute <laughs> i know i know that that's not right i know that that was just doggone evil and that really hurt Yet greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God is exalted. The enemy is defeated. He's defeated. He has no power over you. He has no power in me. Oh, I love it when Jesus said that. I love it before Jesus was sent to go into the um to go to the cross. Before he was they tried to take him and beat him. They he stands there and he tells his disciples that the the prince of this world the devil's coming he's but he cannot find anything in me 
He cannot find anything in me. And we could have the same walk. Because see, we're in this world, and this world is laden with wickedness. It's all over the place. You cannot, you cannot get away from the wickedness that is in this world. Except that you would understand that you, because you said yes to Christ, and you put on Christ, you, you're walking with Him and talking with Him day and night. He's your friend. He's your brother. He's he's your mother. He's your sister. He's your life. He's your husband. He's your wife. He's your life. <laughs> you, you. <sighs> and you listen, you can't get away from this love. When we walk in the Spirit, we cannot fulfill the lust of our flesh whatever that that sensation is that will catapult you into back into simple nature back into the old man you won't want to walk in that anymore mm -mm. we have to understand that we are in this world but we are no longer of it we're not of this world we're not like this world because we are seated in Christ in the heavenly realm. Spiritually speaking, your spirit is seated with Christ. And you have power over your own vessel. Because you have made the Lord your habitation, your life. I'll tell you, I love him. I love him. I love him. And you don't have to handle everything by yourself. There are people, if you are overwrought, if something has overtaken you, you can pick up the phone. You can call prayer counselors, prayer warriors. They'll pray for you. This is why you need to be connected to a, to a church. Hmm? A Bible teaching, Bible loving <laughs> people, body of uh, people of body of Christ that really will go to war for you. They won't leave you over there by yourself going through your, your household situation by yourself. They won't leave you to yourself going through carrying that sin that you so often fall into. They won't leave you by yourself. But they'll work with you and pray for you, earnestly pray for you. They won't tell you this is part of your imagination. They'll understand how the schemes of the enemy work on you work on us but the enemy is defeated i'm telling you he's defeated jesus defeated him this this victory is already won but we need to wake up and take our position in christ jesus the thing is is that you're already there but the the word has not become life to you because there's too much of the flesh too much of the soul in our face. This is why we gotta, we have to turn off things. We don't need to always have something playing in the background. You don't always need entertainment from TV and cell phones and, and internet stuff. You don't always need this mental entertainment. Do a puzzle. Go for a walk. Get in nature. Find a hobby, do ceramics, do bake cookies. I don't, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but there's something that you like to do that has nothing to do with the internet. <laughs> and do it. Get a hobby. There's addiction to the internet. People see they can't live without their cell phones. I can't stand mine. I'll throw it in a minute. <laughs> you know, you get caught in that scrolling. I always talk about that. And there was a time when I lived in sin. Physical sin. And since I've come to Christ and remained in the word, talking to the Lord and walking with him and just being in his love. I'm telling you, love really does cover a multitude of sin. It drives it up out of you. 
there's no taste for it anymore. There's no desire for it anymore. You just want holiness all the way. What's that scripture that says, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Depart. There's so many scriptures that talk about depart from evil. You're going to have good health if you depart from evil. People have bad health because they meditate on the wrong things. They meditate on the wrong things. You know, when you first come into a relationship with somebody and you're in love with them, you're infatuated. You can't turn away from them. You think about that person night and day. That's how we should be with Christ. This is how we should be in our hearts and in our devotion with the Lord God Almighty. We've been given life. And this life comes straight out of love. God is love. You think that you know how to love? You think the world knows how to love? You think that friend next door to anybody, your sister, your brother, your mother, your father, you think they know how to love? No, God knows how to love. And if there's any love in me, if there's any love in anybody, the way that God loves, that's a gift. That's a gift from God. This absolute love where it's unconditional. You can come to him and he'll cleanse you from all of your filthiness he does it by the word by the knowledge of him we are del we are cleansed cleaned let me talk again about this gift of love for just a minute and that gift comes from God and that gift for most of us is because we have spent time with the Holy One we live with him in our hearts. We never want to be separate from the, separated from the one who is love. We abide in his love. We stay in his love. We roll all of our cares on him. We trust him with our heart, with our mind, with our situations and circumstances. I'm not saying that's an automatic thing. We learn how to do that. And as we learn of him, you desire him all that much more. So I love John chapter 17 where it says that eternal life the way the way to eternal life is knowing the one true God and the one that he has sent God has sent his son into our hearts God no God has sent us sorry God has sent his spirit into our hearts and the Spirit of God draws us to the Father. He's always helping us to recognize that we are the children of God. There's this desire, there's this pulling, there's this... <laughs> what do you call this? Oh, I just thank God that He's so good. Anyway. Jesus has been exalted to the highest position. He's sitting next to the Father. And we have been taken, put in the Son, because we said yes to Jesus Christ, being the Son of God. We believe that God exists. We believe that God sent His Son and that He died and rose again. We've been seated in Christ by Abba God, the Father seated in Christ and now we are in the heavenly realm we are spiritual people in a physical body and I want to I want to end with this the you know we have a whole realm around us that you cannot see the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy your soul it's not just about the house the souls of the household we got to think outside of the flesh it's not just your little baby boy or your baby girl or your husband or your wife is not just some family member that you know in the flesh it is that soul all souls belong to God and Jesus has Jesus and the Father have power over all flesh. But how much more will he have if we come to him and take that soul and put it in his hand? What if we begin to say what he's what if we begin to speak what he's speaking over these souls? Life is going to come. 
life is going to come. Ultimately, it is their decision. I understand that. But take your part. Know your position in Christ. And start living up to your full potential. You're a powerful being in the mind, in, 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 right there, in the hand of God. You have weapons of mass destruction in the spirit. No weapon formed against you can prosper because the word is in your heart. You have a relationship with the living God. You know him. Well, I gotta go. Keep your peace. Trust the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your strength. <laughs> I love you. And the Lord definitely, definitely loves you. Stay strong. Bye-bye.